Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm actually, if you notice, um, I'm actually um, in a hotel room. Um, let me fix this angle. So I'm actually in a hotel room um, here in Jersey. So my daughter is doing a um, landmark program. So um, I just want a little to talk a little bit more about um, some of the things that we've learned. And I'm still doing a program, doing the weekly seminars. Um, my goal is to have this help me out, um, both um, help me, you know, just in life, be a better husband, be a better Christian, be a better doctor, be a better um, even CrossFit athlete, believe it or not. Um, um, help me with my beach body business. I definitely want to wanted to help me with that so I can help and reach as many people as possible. About, um, I'm still going to put a promotion here for beach body. If you want, if you need a fitness coach, I'm your man. Um, and I'm blessed and thankful for beach body because if it wasn't for beach body, I wouldn't even be on this track. I wasn't about self development, but it was through beach body that I've read ton of book, tons of books by Brian Tracy, Tony Robbins. Because beach body is all about helping yourself. At first, you got to help out and change your mind before you change your body. So I love beach body. You need a fitness coach. I'm here for you. Landmark program. Uh, is part of that process. Now, some people have a misconception. Landmark is not a multi-level marketing company. Beachbody is a multi-level company for which I'm very proud to be part of. Landmark, I get nothing for telling you to do the program. I get nothing but a pat on the back saying, yeah, Will, you brought somebody in. So if you're interested in um, learning a little bit more about Landmark, Landmark, don't worry. I'm not trying to put, pull you into a business. I'm just trying to get you to take a look and consider the seminars. And yeah, you have to pay to take the seminars. I get none of that money. All of us who you see talking about the Landmark program and convincing people to come to the program, we're doing it because we're amazed at what it's done to our lives. Okay, so don't worry. Um, it's not anything where I'm trying to get you involved in something, which is nothing wrong with that because that's why I'm part of Beachbody. I'm trying to get people to get fitness but also make money from fitness. So if you're interested in Beachbody, um, talk to me. If you're interested in Landmark, talk to me because I'm at a Landmark program right now. We're staying in a hotel because this program for young people is actually in Jersey. So that's why my wife and myself and my uh, daughter are staying at a hotel. My son is spending time with my sister and her two little boys. So my son is having, a, he's having literally boy time with my sister's two little boys, my nephews, his cousins. I just want to talk a little bit about something to just say, my landmark about my, um, miracles and the miraculous. Now, the way if I could summarize it in my own words, because when we do the seminars with landmark, um, they come, they, they try to tell us to take as least many notes as possible because they want us to absorb the, def the definitions of what we're going through and listen to each other's experiences. Now, a miracle they describe in Landmark is something for which you can't explain by your present state of understanding and causes you to change the way you look at the world. Those are the type of words that they use. I'm not using exactly, but pretty much I want you to get the idea. A miracle is something that happens that based upon everything else that you know in life, you cannot explain. You can't explain it by science. You can't explain it by cause and effect. It just happened. You can't explain it. Sometimes we call things that miracles may be a coincidence um, and things like that. And I'm, like, I'm going to tell you how I am able to reconcile that with my present beliefs. Um, and it causes you to change the way you look at things. Meaning that I may see a miracle and I'm thinking, well, usually X plus Y equals Z. Wow, this changed. And for instance, somebody who miraculously uh, got diagnosed with cancer and uh, through, you know, very minimum treatment or maybe through prayer, then cancer disappears. Um, with somebody who once was able to walk, now they're able to walk. You know, even though their doctor say, listen, you have a 10% chance of walking, but now you're walking. Um, for me, miracles equal God's work, God's hand, God's action in the world. That's my definition of miracles. And this is why I tell people, Landmark is designed for you to look at the world and live a life that you love, however you see it. It's not here to replace religion. So if you want God and Jesus Christ, um, Allah, whoever you want to call them, to be a major part of your life, Landmark will help you do that because where our minds are so stuffed with everything else and other thoughts, I feel like it keeps us through our thoughts and actions from doing the things that we would like to do to praise God, to do things that we would like to do to be better Christian because our mindsets are already stuck in this way of thinking and we do things that put us in a way of action that makes our lives a lot more complicated. So we're too busy thinking and dealing with situations that we've created, problems that we've created that we don't have the time or energy to put into praising God and praising uh, whoever you want to call has created us. 
And so that's why I say landmark. Um, and even in the video, they show um, religious leaders doing a landmark program. So hit me up if you want to do the program. Hit me up if you want to learn a little bit more about landmark. I got my daughter in it. I'm looking forward to her transformation and how she looks at the world. Uh, my wife and I are still doing it. I'm still reading the books from Landmark. I got these books from Amazon. It's called the Landmark Insight. So I'm taking a look at these. So I'm bringing it to my, I'm trying to use it to help me deal with my job. Um, I'll, be, I'll be honest, I'm a work in progress. This past, my last shift at one of my hospitals, I went back to my old ways. I'll be totally honest because it was, I can't explain to you and I'm not making excuses. But what they expect doctors to do is really, 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 really unreasonable. Um, I would never understand how you expect me to do a job A, but you give me level F resources. And I'm going to leave it at that. All right. But I have to still, because sick people are still coming in. Unfortunately, certain people aren't going to change, so I have to at least find a way to deal with my job while I'm there. So I definitely fell back, and I'm the first one to admit that. But I was doing good for a while. So I'm still a work in progress. I'll never use myself as an example of anything perfect. No matter what I do in life, I consider myself an example of a work in progress and a person who's always striving to improve themselves. All right? So, if you want to learn about landmark? I'm your man, Beach Bonnie, your man. Come on over. All right, peace out.